Welcome to the video demo showing how Vordel enables an API portal. In this demo, we'll see how the Vordel API Gateway provides the building blocks which customers use to create an API portal. API portals do a number of things which we'll see in this demo, including the ability to register APIs, apply policies to APIs such as OAuth or API key authentication, allow users to register, and then monitor. First thing we look at is how a regi API is registered with the API Gateway. We see here a sample form that's used to register an API. You enter in all the different information about the API, including the path, the name of the API, the backend host, and then the local path. The path being used on the API Gateway may differ from the backend path that's being used to access it. You also input version information, and then most importantly, you choose a policy to apply to your API. This can be OAuth, it can be API key authentication, it can be various different other options, including SAML post. Once you register the API, then it's registered with the backend API gateway. We're also choosing to cache the response in this case. All these screens are skinnable by Vordell's customers. Next, we're gonna see API user self-service registration by a developer who wants to use the API that we've just registered. Again, the Vordell API Gateway provides skinnable screens for this purpose. With an API portal, it's important to make it as simple as possible for developers to register and get all the information they need to access the API. Here, a user called Joe Developer is registering. Joe Developer is writing an iPhone app. He needs to access the API for this purpose. He's registering. Because we chose API key authentication earlier, he gets an API key here that he's going to use then to access the API. Next, we see Joe Developer accessing the API, and we'll see the administration side of the API Gateway, how we can see how this developer is using the API. We see if the developer is coming in with a valid or invalid API key, they get the response back um, about the key, or they get the valid API response being reported back to them. From an administrator point of view, we can go in behind the scenes and look at the API gateway. We can see the real-time monitoring of what's going on. We see here the correct API requests coming from the developer user, and then we see the blocked messages with the bad API key over here. All of this is provided in real-time by the API gateway, which underpins the portal. Then we see the various different API services, which we can do a report on. So we see the usage of this particular stock lookup API over a particular time interval that we're interested in. We can also see the information reported in different ways, such as using um, real-time graphs and also historical graphs. We can zoom in on the times that we're interested in as well. If we want to pinpoint a particular point in time, see the usage of the API at that time. All of this is provided by the API gateway. You can also look at the audit trail for the APIs. And here you see this user coming in with their API key. And you can also drill in on the invalid API key usage here. We can drill in, see the request, and see how it was blocked. For more information, check out Fordal.com.